Hey guys, welcome to the stream. We are gonna get started. Um, do our fun thing. Cut on the side. Uh, was hoping to be on a little bit earlier. It looked like I was actually gonna be good for it, and then I was having a shower and spent with my wife. So get on when I get on. Uh, I'm thinking that the ten o'clock time is gonna be more realistic for now. Uh, from me hopping online. Hey, he's not blocking me now. Fallout for Ah. How's it going, man? Okay, this is so. I'm doing alright. Let's here. This is a great time. Uh, the usual, like, $200 for Chris, the artificial Christmas trees, and we picked one up for, like, less than 70 bucks. After taxes and Oh, wow. I'm just doing running some patrols and stuff like that around the uh, on IO right now since yeah. that's the flashpoint. I just run the dailies from there because there's going to be at least three of them within the week, and that seems to be enough to just get it. That I'm not wasting time doing those things. Ah. Uh. The daily. What you mean the daily bounties or, or the daily missions? Okay. The oh, okay. I see the thing. I'm also gathering. I'm doing this. I'm, gather, I'm doing. I'm trying to get a uh, one of the uh, <coughs> bounties done for the. Whoa. News. Have you ever heard of uh, Cards Against Humanity? Yes. My sons and kids used to, uh, used to like to play it. Okay. I saw, um, was it uh, N64 Josh? Uh, he tweeted out a picture and it says, uh, Charades was ruined for me forever when my mom had to act out trimming the poop out of Chewbacca's butt hair. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. I saw that. I was just like, absolutely. <laughs> I can imagine. So, there, hang on one second. My uh, controller is about to die, so I need to change out the battery. So, I'm going to go wait for a second.
things. I have to pick up like 25 materials. Uh, get one of the frames ready. I, I did not realize, apparently there is a bug that allows the, um, where the, bount the, um, what is it, ballistics goes away at the reset. So the ballistics, so I can't buy the frames until I do this again. I haven't completed one yet. Um, I still got to start doing it. I still don't know how to start doing it. I'm, so, I'm 6 have, have you done the four? Nope, I haven't done one four. Nope, I haven't done one. Ah. So six. Uh, where? Oh. Yeah, you're getting very close. The second concentration shattering machinery. I'm running a very dirty build right now for my hunter. Chaperone. You're running a what? A very dirty Chap build. Oh. I'm running a chaperone with a bow. I heard somebody over here. I have a task for you, but I fear your fleshy body is insufficiently resilient for my purposes. Did you just say fleshy? There's a garage nearby full of armored vehicles. Procure one. Okay. Open garage. Now that you have use of this device, do you recall the War Mind Vault? The Vex are keenly interested in its secrets. That ends now. Love this breakneck. I haven't gotten my uh, breakneck yet. I've, I've heard mixed reviews from people on it. Um, there's an aspect where you kind of got to get some feel the love for it, I guess. But. want from the Warmind Vault. The Warmind had a special connection to humanity's lost arts. Music, literature, film. The Vex may not understand this emotional frivolity, but they will use it as a weapon against us if we let them. I was working on my broadsword and it's actually been coming along nicely.
making good progress. <sighs> and, um, I have a suggestion. A suggestion? Well, if the Vex stole irreplaceable data, oh, cook. Cook. Be for a cook. Oh, oh. recover some of it instead of destroying it. <laughs> recover it. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, <clears throat> fine, fine. Do as you see fit. Oh wait, your family, are you fake tree, oh, real tree, no tree? Huh? Christmas trees. I'm not sure. Oh. Um, we use the real tree this year. Um, a little bit of oak? Uh, well, I'm, I have nothing opposed to fake trees, but in general we've been doing real trees. I like the real trees myself, but my wife's... She grew up with the uh, fake trees, and it's just a little bit of a comfort, I think, for her. Ah. Uh. Like, she likes the idea of getting the fake tree, the real tree, because it's like the whole, like, day process of going, cutting it down, and setting it up, watering it, in everything. Yeah. So far, Asher. Are you sure I think it still right hits uh, as a bit of a thing what she misses mean, from the right her childhood. Oh. You know, like, uh. are these the robots we're looking for? So, so it'll work for you, right? Yeah, well, and I think we have enough room on our main floor that we might do both from time to time. We'll see. Uh, we have so many ornaments, it's like ridiculous. And our kids aren't even that old yet. Oh, uh, uh, they keep multiplying, trust me. Oh, I know they will, but I just can't believe how many we have, much we have, and like the oldest is only five years old. Almost six. Get out of here. I'd like to eliminate him, but he keeps running away. Get out of here. Hey, who's shooting at me? I don't appreciate it. Up. 
Build please. Thank you. Build please. did steal files from the vault. Let's see, some files about Mars, Rage, and of course, lots of data on the Warmind project. Hmm, you'll have to take a look. I hope it's useful. Hope is a logical fallacy. Only data leads to concrete solutions. I thought after 600 your power upgrades were supposed to slow down. Uh, they do. But you'll still get big power upgrades from uh, powerful weapons. How big are they supposed but to be? But you just won't get as many. It's like one or two above. Um, well, powerful ones are like two, two or three above. The other ones are one above. I'm getting them five above still. Wow. Well, I wouldn't complain. Uh, I'm not complaining. I'm just conf yeah. I was just confused. I was like, okay, I don't mind. I won't say no.
Mm. Might buy those wings again. Might buy those. Good. Come on. Nice. See him messaging, so I'll be like writing. Oh, there you go. Holy spiny. What was he saying? Uh, well, he said that uh, he's looking uh, at the London uh, next week. That was good. But I got uh, a avatar. Avatar. I'm glad you got it. Hey, Jack, what Control. Oh, someone's got a Maleficent. Oh, someone's got a Maleficent. Take those zones, Guardian. Victory demands it. Pretty come Capture. Captured zone B. Zone advantage is yours. You don't want it. That bad. F. The boss. The boss. Zone A lost. <laughs> you captured zone C. You have zone advantage. That is a good trust. They've taken the lead. You can turn this tide. Are you in a crucible? Yeah, I'm doing my uh, daily crucible for the powerful engram. You have advantage. You're in the lead.
captured zone A. That's a power play. You took them. Now hold them. <sighs> You're pulling ahead. Keep it that way. Oh. No, no, no. Shoot. I thought there was a little nook there I could have hit it. I I'm glad I'm with some good guys because I am sucking them at the guy. moment. I'm not used to running shotguns. Oh dear. Left. Oh dear. Actual break. is yours. Zone A lost. I can get two shots off with a chaperone, I think it'll actually put a guy in our super down. Zone C lost. Your enemy has a power play. Three minutes remaining. You captured zone C. Heavy machine gun.
Just missed. Oh, just. Zone A captured. You have zone advantage. One minute. Zone C lost. You captured zone B. You have zone advantage. No! No! Ten seconds! The victory well executed. Good job. I'll go back to work tomorrow. I'll go back to work for a week and a half. Uh, I try that's one thing I won't have to worry about. I'm on sabbatical for the next till the February 11th. You're a pastor? You're a pastor? No. Um, basically, my company gives us uh, every um, uh, five years. Or at least my, the company I used to work for. Um, that we were we were recently bought out, so we were told, so I had already earned my sabbatical, so I have to take it. But it's basically we get six weeks off. Okay. Yep. I go for that. I go for that. Yeah, it's one of the reasons why people worked at this company. <laughs> How's it going, neurotic? How's it going, neurotic? All right, man. How are you Bye. doing? Good, you depositing 60 motes into their bank? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just testing a new, I'm just testing an armory weapon right now. Hmm. I decided I was going to see how this weapon worked after I did a little Which, uh, playing around with my settings. Uh, the auto rifle. Seems to be working pretty good. Actually, I'm pretty surprised. Is that me making all that noise? Sorry. What you guys up to? Uh, I'm just running the powerful engram gambit. Powerful engram. Powerful engram gambit. Running a whole bunch of powerful. Running a whole bunch of different powerful. He's just running gambit to get this powerful engram. Oh, okay. Oh. Either the weekly or the daily, depending upon when he last ran it. Gambit, Crucible, Dailies, Rogue Strikes. Got you. I understand stuff. now. Yeah, I got you. 
I'm caught up. I was having a bit of a Polish moment there. <laughs> Would it be better if I spoke Easy in German? Down. Would it be better if I spoke <laughs> oh, No, no, no. He's well, Polish. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, I don't think I understand either one of those languages, so I've got it pretty much covered. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty interesting the way this is going so far. Pretty happy with the way this weapon's performing. Yeah, I just I just found out something about the black armor I did not know and I'm upset with. Apparently, the uh, ballistic logs are deleted at reset. So all the but ones you've it? earned this week. The ballistic logs that you used to buy the heavy frames with? Oh, yeah. They, I've learned that already. I've lost four of them at least. Yeah. That's a minimum. <laughs> yeah, it, every it, week. Apparently, it's, it's a bug, but, of course, everybody's on vacation, so nobody can go look at the fix the stupid bug. Come see me. Again. Oh, so we have bugs? Okay, we must have roaches or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. 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 I, I but, hear yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the the raid was supposed to take care of that, but apparently hasn't done a very good job. It's just hard to get anything done. I mean, there's all kinds... I mean, who was I talking to the other day? There's somebody that's pretty knowledgeable about this stuff. From at least at a... Uh, I think it's from a software's perspective. Is they've got so much content that they just don't have enough... They just don't have enough horsepower to run it all. I think that's part of it. I think that's part of the reason why sometimes the uh, uh, the crucible gets so bad because they've got so much. Oh my gosh, like the... Gambit! Oh, crucible's gotten horrible. Their matchmaking just—they quit doing it. It just stopped. Yeah. You noticed that too? Well, I gotta check. Uh, True Vanguard Wait, said he was going to uh, make a video on it because he wanted to break it down and find out. How broken or how fine it's working, and he's. It's broken bad. We were. I, I don't know if you guys run into the Blade Barrage uh, phenomenal uh, lately. No, which phenomenon is that one? Well, I, I don't know how many. I've, I've played a little bit of it. You can't turn a corner without getting Blade Barraged. Oh, well, but if you're not a, if you're not a, if you're not a hunter, you're not you're not gonna you're not gonna get. I mean, it's really hard. And then I I played nothing but six packs for the past week. Oh yeah, it's it's a six pack that I don't know. You know, and they're good. <laughs> I play with some really good players, and these guys that are six packs that we're bumping into are incredible. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Or I think sometimes some of that comes also possibly from the uh... I'm sorry, go ahead. Sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Um, so I'm was. sorry, I was trying to... I think he was just processing at the moment what I he's doing Some again. of that's also just the, mat the, the lag and matchmaking that you sometimes have too, though. Well, I think oh, that the oh, on been... the Xbox side that the pool is so small that it's going to such a wide pool um, that that's what's partially causing these really difficult matches. Well, they have been, that's for sure. You gotta be I don't. I don't believe that. I mean, I really don't. What, that the I have a Xbox tough time. pool is that hey. small? How's the clan going? Yeah, I, I, have a tough, I have a tough time with that. I really do with that particular description which you just gave me yeah. with as much I don't know oh darn they already some of it I don't know I just find it hard to believe that they're saying that our pool is so small no, that's what on I'm the Xbox saying. side oh, that's what I'm saying oh what they're saying oh no I think it's just broken I mean it was pretty good I mean it was, it was, uh, I thought it was working real well for a while there. I was having so much fun playing, playing, uh, Xbox, I couldn't believe it. I mean, uh, Crucible, because I used to be very bad at it. <laughs> and I, uh, 
I approved a little bit, I think. I think that's a good one. Mm -hmm. See you soon. But that's just, you know, me. I don't know. Well, we all know Papa's the top 2% crucible, too, so. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somehow or another, I have ended up in third person mode, and, uh, oh, there we go. How did I get a sword on? Which one of you guys talked me into putting on a sword? Uh, probably the Black Armory bounty. I'll tell you what, I just, uh, I just, <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Right, because there's one for wearing, the, the, one of the bounties for the Black Armory is to, uh, Use sword, uh, bows. Yeah, the new I sword. I haven't them. done it. Yeah, I've done all that stuff already. I don't know how I ended up with my sword on. I thought I had my thunder lord. I have all kinds of different names for it, depending on who I'm playing with. <laughs> I must have been doing something goofy. Yeah, I've gotten all the armory stuff, but I'm still playing it. He said there was a shotgun, but I haven't seen it yet. Uh, oh, I didn't. That might know. be in the next forge. I don't know. Expecting to see it. Oof. I was expecting to see it this week. I think I want to try to get a little better roll on my, um, what do they call that thing? The blast furnace. Pulse rifle. A little bit of roll on that. Times. Man, I tell you what, I, I got real. I had a real tough time with the bygones for a little while, getting used to it, mm -hmm. and then I started getting used to that thing. I love that thing in PVE. I mean, it's really good at PvP too. But but uh, the same things going on with the blast furnace just taking me a little while to get adjusted to it. But if you if you get adjusted to that thing about about right, let's see, set blockers. Are you matchmaking neurotic? Uh, you matchmaking? Uh, what do you mean? For gambit. Oh, there you go. You're saying that you're only in a group of three. No, of I'm eight. in a. Yeah, I'm in just playing matchmaking. Why? Well, I was going to join you, you if you're still matchmaking. Back. But if you're already in, just I'll pick you up on the next one then. Okay. Yeah. I'm not very good at any of this stuff, but I sure enjoy playing it. <laughs> I like dying. It's my favorite thing. Oh, I can do that efficiently in that game. Well, any of these games. Man, I'll tell you what. So, well, so, so I've been playing around with a lot of different concepts because some of this stuff is so close quarter. Um, I started playing with a submachine gun in the forge. And... One of, one of them that I was using was the Pillager, I think. And I had a blast with that. Then I started playing with um, some uh, auto sidearms. And, and they work pretty good if you can get one you can handle. So I just play with this stuff. I'm, right now I'm trying this out. This, uh, whatchamadoodle. Auto rifle. The, the, the ringing nail. And I'm right now pretty happy with it. I got killed Working by that thing. That was a well. really good gun. I'm just trying to kill ads. And some of these guys are really mean. They won't die. <laughs> but, but I've got something that's breaking a shield now. If, I, if, if you know, if they make one like they had the uh, hard light, where you could change your your uh, burn, oh, that would be awesome. I haven't tried a hard light in here, or have I? I can't remember. Hard light's nice because it has a multiplier on it, so if you ricochet it, it actually does more damage. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, really? yep. That's why you should always shoot the ground first. Ricochet it up, it does more damage. You shoot the ground first before you use it? No, you, you oh, aim, no, no, aim no, the bullets no. at the ground, you shoot, shoot at hit the, the ground, ground, and the ricocheting at, bullet will go up, and it'll shoot. do multiple damage on a, higher than if you just shot at the character. Right. Exactly. Oh, oh, shoot at the ground, like at their feet, mm -hmm. in other words. Right, shoot at the ground at their feet, exactly. Gotcha. 
Oh, here we go. We're kind of a team I'm on this time. See if anybody's actually trying to... Nope, they're not even shooting at it. Damn it. I can't remember... They got those turrets out again. It was. Oh, it was... It was Bungie, but I can't remember how exactly it went. <sighs> but I, if it was... I think it... I think it was Skyburner's oath that they had put the tracking on it a little bit up, and they said that it was too good. They said it, it was ridiculous. The thing would almost hone through um, oh, all oh, ways the, and such. Yeah, it was Skyburner's oath. Yeah, it was Skyburner's oath. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, and, and basically, it made hip fire far more. Yeah, there was no point far to more ADS that thing. It was, to ADS would be to yeah. take it, off the gun. It was awesome. I played with this guy Burners though for so many. I played hip fire. Oh my gosh, it was wonderful. Yeah, but you never got to play oh the Sky Burners boat that they had made. It had never left their studio. Like the Sky Burners Earth that they had made, huh. they like it, it was like a smart missile. Like it would just hold. You pull the trigger, someone's gonna get hit with it, basically. <coughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's see what we've got. Okay, the screen to sleep. Just put it, yeah, up, up in the upper corner. Come on, corner. guys, shoot the turrets, would you? Why do I always have to be the one that shoots the turrets? The turrets? Yeah, they've got those stupid machine guns on top of stuff. I call them turrets. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yep, I died by the other one. Oh my gosh, they had three. Oh. There was a Is third one that I didn't see. Yeah. The gambit, okay. Yeah, it's a cabal it that has turrets on top of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cabal can have turrets. Actually, they consider the uh, shriekers turrets as well. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, shriekers are generally with. Uh, what is it? Okay, this. Uh, Horrible start for me. Oh, nobody shoots at him. Take him out, guys. It's not hard. You just gotta shoot at the damn things. I'm gonna die again. So is everybody here in in? Oh, I guess that's, a, that's twice now. I haven't. I've been carrying on a conversation with you guys, and I die, and I forget to revive myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think this guy's going. What's wrong with that old guy over there, man? His walker's broken or something? Or... We got another one, another turret up that nobody's killed, and I'm going to get killed by it again. Lost more notes than I've put in today. I want to go look him in the eye. Somebody keeps beating me to the thing. Two down. Oh no, not again. Unbelievable. Allies headed to the other side. Guys are awful. Why are these guys tearing me apart? I get hit twice. It's not a. I just like a little void shot, and it just like ripped away half my health. Your invaders battled with two kills under their belt. These guys are gonna go, man. This guy's a real blueberry. Nope. Does anybody know how that name was? 
Yeah, anybody know how that name was come up come up with? Yeah, you told me it was uh, no. uh, just neurotic was uh, what came up, and then uh, you just put pop on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to find out where it came from. My lovely wife loves to watch us play, you know, and she sits around and she loves the name gamer tags and stuff like that. Yeah. She really enjoys she really enjoys it. And uh, that's one of the questions she keeps asking me. Where is it what is a blueberry? <laughs> it's a worthless pile of well, she said it's a really good vitamin. I mean, I don't know why they would call anybody a blueberry. A really powerful antioxidant. What? That's how you light them up. Chaos of Reach. Why would you use Chaos of Reach now? Oh. Oh, this is a write-off match for me, at least. I haven't deposited one moat yet. I don't know how that feels. Unfortunately. Some of like the stupidest things. Well, this time it was, I'd go in and kill two of the three. I wouldn't notice there's a three for me. There was a third turret. And I'd run around the corner and get killed by the third turret. I only took one down with that? I only took one down? My 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 problem I have problems with is people taking my boats. I kill it, I shoot it, and I don't get it. Uh, Isn't that you... an emotional response? I mean, I go out there, I'll I'll, I'll kill a, I'll, I'll you know I'll kill something, and your teammate comes and grabs it. Yep. Like, see, he could kill this. Well, I'm gonna go. Hope I don't die. Oh, I got some moats here. I get to go put some moats in. Ah, take it, dog. There's the other one. There's got to be two of them around here. You know, it's one of the things that I find about uh, Gambit. That's one of the challenges that people always get so emotional. <laughs> I get emotional because I lose them. I die with a handful. I used to get really upset about the guy. We go, you only had three. I just died with fifteen. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> so he told me when I first started playing. He said, you should be, you should be depositing your moats every five. So I pretty much do exactly that. Damn it! You really got to push me out of the way to take that moat? Really? I can't believe these guys. They're running me over. I'm gonna have to get a faster walker. That's all there is to it. Let's make sure that the. Let's make sure that the. Uh, uh, what's it called? The scooter is uh, fully charged before you go. Oh no, it's a walker. Mine has racquetballs on it, so it squeaks. <laughs> Incoming 
on the island. Okay. Where's the other hydro? Oh, look at this. Zippity doodah. Team we're playing against don't doesn't even have ten in. Why would they that be that? Yeah, why would they even do that? I mean, I can't imagine that. <laughs> well, unless they're going for bounties and they're doing something. Yeah, that, I think that's what's going on. It could be going for the challenge if they in. are holding on to them. Is there one challenge uh, yeah. to deposit they're... fifteen moats? Well, as well as other challenges like depositing a hundred for the whole team. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Of course, I play by yeah, myself ninety nine percent of the time. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really tough to do when you're playing by yourself. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, I haven't had the opportunity to play on a four stack yet. So there he is. Oh, I didn't get him. What did he kill me with? Oh, a hammerhead? Well, I, I probably deserve that. Invader incoming! My 15 moats! I'm trying to hide here! I'm trying to hide here! Oh, <laughs> I'm just sucking the day on this. It doesn't help that I'm not playing my usual bill. They usually run more of like a pulse rival, not a. Oh. Oh, you do it above one or something? Yeah. Not for bounties or anything, it's just it's my most powerful item. I'm with one, you guys. Kill the wizards, please. They're over there hiding where I can't see them. Better. Maybe they're not. This will help. Invader on the field. Careful. Yeah, I didn't even look to see what I'm supposed to be doing yet. I don't know where this guy is. I must be looking for him. Blockers. Enemies. Void. Use void abilities. Great. I just love either doctor. Oh, if it's void abilities, I should be running around using my super. Yeah. Coming wave at the drill. Let's see if everybody will follow me over here and let me kill all these son of a guns. Come on, guys. Come on in. Come on, pick him up, gentlemen. We'll make it. Oh. Okay, let's see. Oh no. Kidding me, I missed another one of those damn things. Oh please, now come on, I saw you guys running behind me. Go deposit the stuff. Do any of you guys play with a shotgun? I don't normally, but I'm trying it right now. No. Not normally. Well, if you yeah. ever have, if you ever have trouble with blockers, you know the the one that the yeah. one that I run, I, I run a shotgun no matter what. And if you use a special ammo finder, it makes it a lot easier for you to get your special ammo to drop. But other than that, I mean, I, I, I don't understand why everybody. Okay. Uh, there he goes. I'm evil compromised. Burn it down. Portal is crossed. Locked. 
taking out all the... Ooh, I got my... got my standard one moat. Oh no. And I just jumped off the map. Nope. Oh. No way to save. We should be way ahead. Ah, no! Yep, it's true! Hey, somebody took that sucker out. I hear another one running. Six oh seven right now. I'm getting powerful. I'm dropping at six thirteen. As I said, don't complain. That, that's cool. Yeah, no, that's about right. That's, uh, about that's right. a little high for six or for uh, some of the. Well, it's only at one over. Six. It's only one over. In all actuality, five is the number. Typically, right. Well, but once you once you go above six hundred, I thought they dropped you down to uh, one at a, to uh, basically uh, one for each powerful in ground one step. No, it's uh, it, that's, that, look, I'm not an expert, but I'm under the impression that as long as you have your three, you're well rested and you get your three dilly bob, whatever it says, you can get yeah. You can get the five. I've got. I mean. I was amazed at how fast this for me happened. I... Oh, here's somebody who understands how to play. I get upset when it's when you go when you get from when you get done from being well rested. My experience, yep. um, that's when you start seeing the one, the one at a time thing. You know, well you're at three thirty nine. Huh? I uh, we haven't played enough. It three, starts um, every week. Right. You, you start at well rested every week, and you go three of the uh, Eververse uh, bars. You know the yellow bar that's up top, yeah, the bottom on one? your uh, player page. No, the top one, right underneath oh, your gamer tag. Yeah, well, that the top bar goes to and your bottom when you're playing. That's your XP, right? Yeah. Right, right, right. It's your XP. Every time you complete that bar, if you complete it three times in a week, uh, then you're no longer well rested. Yeah, and then the next thing is the atonement thing that's on there. Um, that's another thing that comes into play. Okay, where is it? Oh, buddies, go okay. Looks like everybody's going to get the Malfeasant today. Yeah, I saw him popping up twice. I just had him pop oh. up, but I didn't get it. Unfortunately, that's one that I'm still waiting for. And and west of. Yeah, and, and it's not even a um a first week. Well, and it's not even apparently yeah, a great gun. What's, what's that? that? What's that? No, I. But there's a lot of people that absolutely love that hand cannon. What? Oh, really? And then there's a lot of people that don't. Yeah, I've got I've got a guy that I play with. It. Every weapon he has is the best. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Sounds like some people that I've played. With I mean, it's I. We laugh. We laugh. Oh well, let's see. What did he shoot me with? Look, I just got killed by malfeasance. No, it's with bicons. But uh, I don't think it's that good a hand cannon myself. But that's me. I think my trust is better than that thing. I got killed by a trust earlier today. By far. Well, it was a good trust. The Malfeasance... Malfeasance is good against taking out Taken. It's not... Yes. It's not... That, that's really what it's special, its specialty is. 
Yeah, that's what. Uh, there you go. That's a good answer. Oh, hey, woohoo! I got Otherwise, it's just kills. an average gun. Yeah. Well, when I got the Ace of Spades, that's when I started playing with hand cannons a little more. Mm -hmm. And that was pretty. Uh, that's when I started learning about the trust and better devils. Well, I already knew about the better devils. Mm -hmm. I got I got a really yep. good trust on my very first drop. And you're not gonna believe it, but in my postmaster I found I have a Countess SA waiting for me. That's a year one weapon, and it's masterwork. Oh sweet! And and it's a what's well, a terrible rocket? <laughs> it's like really? What what did you get? I mean, a what? Countess. It's called the Countess. The Countess. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a masterwork rocket launcher. Year one oh, okay. masterwork. Like, what did you get for the masterwork on it? Reload speed? Uh, velocity. Oh, that's at least nice. Just what Which you needed. That's yeah. worth while. Velocity at least is worthwhile on a rocket launcher if it's like reload speed. It's like. Rather than taking like oh. 1.3, it'll take 1.2 or something. Yeah, well, in general, I agree with you, but this thing is so, um, it's so slow, <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> sounds like it's, <laughs> no, sounds it, like it's it not needs, worth it. No, it's not, it's like, it's like, okay, well, so, so I'm just shocked for getting it, like, oh, wow, ooh, the Countess. <laughs> yeah, is, you need to brag about that, you need to put that up on a... Mm -hmm. You know, board somewhere. Man, you guys wouldn't oh, believe I really what I got could. today. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I forgot to put. I forgot to put that on. Dad, gum it. Oh, I have to get off. Golly, it's already one o'clock. Crapola. I gotta get some sleep. Where are you guys located? Dumb Central. I am West Coast. I'm West Coast. Oh, you guys are all on West Coast? Sweet. Mm -hmm. So, you, you guys, it's just 11 o'clock or so, huh? Yep. That it is. Oh, 11 o'clock, and I don't have to worry about getting up early until February 11th, so... Oh, sweet. Got a new shift or something? He's on... No, uh, sabbatical. I'm sorry? Sabbatical. I'm on a sabbatical. Oh, okay. So my, my basically my company gives me, um, every five years you earn a uh, six week sabbatical. That's paid. Wow. Invader on the field. That, that must feel nice. It is. Although, it's always a challenge when you go back to work afterwards. <laughs> All the stuff that was... And there are other people covering from me, but I mean, there's projects and things like that that are just going to be sitting there until I get back. And that means that as soon as I get back, it's going to be full bore pressure. Get it done. Oh, yeah. we got to ship this. Oh, well, that's not fair. I think we ought to hire everybody to convince them all to take over some of the stuff that's needed to be done. One would think. Yes, you'd think that. Are you in a, a group, or you got like a bunch of people that work with you know that work in the same department? Could actually yeah. give a hand. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, I no. give a damn. No, no, no. I'm not, right, 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 right. There, Yeah, no, no. There, there are several other people in my group who who will cover me, but they'll only do like the emergency stuff and things that keep production running because they have their right. own projects that they have to get done. Absolutely. You know, like, so. And that still sounds like a wonderful place to work. Well, it was that we, is that, is that a, year, is that a European with, company? No. It's actually um, so the Silicon. And I'm up in the Silicon Valley area, up, up in the. Uh, oh, okay. Gotcha. And right. and actually, for the longest time, most of the companies that were founded out here have sabbaticals. But 
uh, because you know people work super hard, right? You know, they, yes, you do. That, you know, I'm an ex nerd. Can, okay, and can tend to burn out. Yes. And uh, their, philo their philosophy was every five years we want people to have sabbatical, and, and they actually have a selfish reason for it as well. I mean, not only is it a perk that you know people will come and work there for you, right? It's, it's one of those things that really doesn't cost the company that much. But right. um, because because what they do is uh, my particular company works kind of like um, you know a lot of companies that do sabbaticals. You essentially get one week less of vacation per year than other companies, but after end of f five years you get six weeks. And so it's kind of equivalent to what other companies do, but you get it in that one big block, which is really nice. Um, and they do it as a way to find out who can we live without. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say it, but how painful I mean, that's is a, it if this, if this guy goes away? <laughs> right. Um, and their other viewpoint I see is, over there is if somebody is sticking around for the sabbatical oh. but they really don't want to work for us, they, they would much rather give them the six, the six weeks to go find another job. And then they can hire somebody who they, who really wants to work for them. Sure, so, that's a great so, that's a great concept. Right. Or that's, 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 a group goes way up <laughs> when this guy's gone. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So so it's an easy way to identify. Um, I'd say dead wood, but essentially it's an easy way, easier way to identify dead wood. And, yeah. Uh, and all of that. So, but. The new company, the company that bought us out, though, um, they don't believe in sabbaticals, and so uh, this is this will be my uh, last one here. Uh, so I'll be uh, you know, switching, having to switch over to their vacation style. But hey, at least I'm getting it. So and they didn't take it away from you. No, well, they would have hard right? legal. Um, once you've earned it. It, oh, it's pretty yeah, hard because there's. I mean, so everybody who's had their six years, uh, five years then, or had the sabbatical oh, earned, crap. they couldn't take it away. Right. I'm not going to survive this, have I? But basically, they said if you don't take it by this point in time, we'll just pay you out for it. And my Ooh. wife went, no, I want the six. I want you for six weeks. <laughs> for six so, weeks. <laughs> Well, what a wonderful, well, what a horrible well, thing she, to have happen to you. Oh, well, I think well, that's great, personally. Well, I really think yeah, well, that's probably, awesome that your wife would say, I'd much rather have you than the money. That's pretty sweet. Well, it's because she's got a honeydew list a mile long. But, you know. <laughs> well, I didn't say it wasn't selfish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, I call them, I call them, in my household, they're, they're Tony Dews. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I, no such thing as this. I mean, I'm There's the plumber, I'm the electrician, life, yeah. I'm the carpenter. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. The pool boy. Yeah, the, uh, our, our trash compactor, the lid just broke off, so now I'm going to have to go come up with, a, or a handle, I say, so I have to come up with a way to fix that. Right. Yeah, it's just life. Come on, guys. I got one of these teams that doesn't know you're supposed to kill the wizards. Oh. I find a lot of groups don't guys, seem gosh. to prioritize that. Huh? I find a lot of groups aren't prioritizing the wizards. Yep. Well, it's just you can't get your multiplier of the... Well, you can, but it won't be as effective. Right. Okay. There he is. Dead yet? Nope, he's not. Come on. Bang, bang. <laughs> I gave it to him. <laughs> I got the invader. I love getting the invader. It's one of my favorite things to do. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, what are these blockers doing back here? Oh, oh no. No.
Oh my gosh, you would not believe it. We just won that match by Red Cow Hair. Hmm. I mean, there we there was like a little bitty sliver of yellow on their side as we finished ours. Yeah, I, I'm a I'm a card carrying pin protector nerd. I was in the computer industry for a number of years. Ah. Oh, I was actually involved in the development of uh, what we now know as Cat Five Cable. Really? Yeah. So I um, so I worked. I've, on, I've uh, been I've been I've been in the I was in the computer industry back in the late seventies. Yep. And uh, so those of us that worked in that times knows that disk drives were the size of washing machines. Yep. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, in fact, computers this, that are as powerful are... as our uh, um, phones these days were the size of a warehouse. Calculator. Oh, are you... no, no, no. They had not the oh, refrigerator as our phones back then. I mean, I'm serious. They, yeah. I mean, you were, you were lucky to get something as, as powerful as, as a graphing calculator. Um, yeah, and, and by the way, don't forget the uh, actually in reality the first disc, the first drives were not even discs; they were drum. Yep, they were the washing machine drums. Yep. Yeah, no, I I, 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 go I, back I worked to the, on all that stuff. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I, so I go back I go back to punch card days. So do I. Yeah, I that, worked on holler card. I worked on yep. I worked on card readers. Believe it or not, one of my jobs I got hired because I did that. Ah, yep, card nobody knew how to work on card readers. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, in fact, um, uh, I, I mean, actually worked I, I on. Actually... Uh, I, I worked on developing uh, the test programs and the hardware for some of the first um, pin-based T-chips and uh, and the auto oh, okay. auto so you're, you're a developer. Yeah. You're a developer designer uh, type dude. I was a repair dude. I yeah, got so, into research so, by accident a couple times. Uh, okay. So. Yes, yeah, so, so I'm not a chip developer. What I do is um, I work with the chip designers and we design the uh, how we're going to test the chips. And then I design the, the, program, the software program for manufacturing tests as well as the hardware to interface it to the uh, ATE equipment. And sometimes okay. we're almost building many testers on our test board so that we can... Uh, and, you know, accomplish yeah, what we were doing. Sometimes we have to put in special feedback loops and so forth. Right. And, and, uh, when I was working on that stuff, <clears throat> we were involved. One of the designs that we were doing was. I remember if you remember the part where and they were trying to make a decision where that they could use digital and analog in the same phone cable in a building. Remember all that? Yep. 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 Well, I was I was involved and, in all that and, testing. And I was one okay. of the very first people to install a uh, a system that was. Uh, well, we did all the testing. The very first buildings we did these for was for Dow Chemical hmm. in their data center here in the Houston area. Okay. And we tested. You know, they said we would have to be replacing wiring and all this stuff and all these buildings and stuff like that. Well, we ran 300 drops. We didn't have one bad. We had to re-punch one. But other than that, okay. everything was perfect. Oh, I just missed him. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize how much technology is actually in the cables themselves, right? Because Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, it's like you really do get what you pay for sometimes. Well, but, it, uh, um, when you start talking about HDMI and stuff like that, uh, that's pretty much you don't have to buy the real expensive oh, stuff for that. No, 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 not anymore. Not, because not it's anymore, a standard, it's beginning. a standard cable. Oh yes, back right, when we right, were right, growing right. up and kids. Yes, I, I agree with you a hundred percent. Yeah, no, no, we, Everybody, we, we're we've done a lot of that down. Oh, well, I, I mean, right? I mean, we now have right Cat six E cable, right? I mean, running data rates that you would have never imagined back when you were probably developing Cat five. Well, maybe Cat five, but you know, when we we're talking Cat three, right? We wouldn't have even thought about hitting that. Right. In fact, yeah. In fact, I remember installing an ISDN line at home, 
and the installer came out and he was shocked that I'd run Cat 3 cable to do the line. It's like, hey, you know, I expect this thing to be higher bandwidth in the future. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put in. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't need all that of... interference, please. Yeah. And now it's. Uh, yeah, I. Uh... Uh... Oh, I well, started working on fiber optic cable way. Here. Yeah, I did. A, I did a lot of work on that stuff in the old days. Yeah, I guess the challenge with optics is actually the interfacing. It's, it's actually splicing the cables together. Uh, the, uh, the, the crossing the boundaries can uh, cause refraction and signal loss. I mean, you had yep. that a little bit in Cat Three and Cat Fives, but nowhere near like what you have in our optics. I mean, if you don't get that thing just perfectly perpendicular the matching it's well i mean glass now is really easy to terminate yes so well. it's not it's not near what it was when i started working on it back in the 70s and early 80s right. well back in the 70s and the 80s you know rf was still considered black magic yes <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got to learn all that stuff when I was installing uh, fiber optics out at NASA. Heck, I did the E911 system for Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. It was the first time that they had in, uh, added a fiber network for their, um, well, it was going to be their, the data communications and emergency network stuff for them. It was really cool. They did. It was basically, I think, when the... If I had to describe it, it was the beginnings of actually running data in um, uh, data video. Just you taking all taking all the advantage of all the the signal capability of a fiber cable. It was just the beginning of it. So we did it for the whole city. It was really cool. I got to work on stuff for UTMB down here in Galveston. It was. Do you remember Sonnet? Do you remember the? When they started yes. doing Sonnet, it was I was involved with them when they were actually starting to do uh, diagnosis, uh, remote diagnosis in prisons and stuff like that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Cool stuff. I got lucky. I yep. worked on some really fun things. I worked on Skylab and Shuttle. That is exciting. Oh, it was a blast. Childhood dream. My parents were involved in the space program. My mom used to, uh, was a designer for uh, control panels and shuttle. And uh, my dad was working in the Earth Resources program at that time, flying uh, IR aircraft and all this stuff for USDA. Cropped in okay. All that kind of crap. And I got lucky when I got out of the Navy. <clears throat> a guy took a chance on me and hired me, and I got to work on Skylab and Shuttle before I moved on. Wow. I worked. I actually worked on the beginnings of Tedris. Do you remember that? That's when we... No, I don't. Actually, what, what was Tedris was... Tedris was where we put... Uh, when we were... Uh, when we went to the moon, we always had to wait for the rotation of the satellites to... To get in position to recommunicate with the right. spacecraft. Remember that stuff, right? Well, yeah, Tedris yeah, yeah, was exactly. the, yeah. Tedris was basically putting the uh, the satellites up there in synchronous orbit, so there was no breaking mm -hmm. communications at all around the, around the Earth. Okay, and I got, got to work. I got to work on that. Yeah, because what they were doing before is that they were having to wait for the Earth's rotation so that the land-based uh, communications arrays would do that versus the right. satellite. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, so I remember that, but I didn't remember the name of it. That was. Yeah, it was really cool stuff. I was the only guy qualified to work on what they called the network output multiplexer for those damn things when I left. <laughs> <laughs> and at NASA, and, cert and, certification and, 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 is a joke. <laughs> you have to be certified on everything you touch. Guess what the first thing is. You have to know what um, it looks like. Oh. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Wow. 
That's the very first thing on the list. And in fact, if you soldered back then, you had to go through a soldering school. Anything, anything sure. that you did out there, well, and they meant you know, and everything that everything was looked at via a microscope. So if you did a soldering yeah. joint, you had to get certified to do that stuff. Well, it makes Fun a lot of sense for soldering because it's so easy. To, I mean, solder joints oh, yeah. it was the biggest reliability issue of any space launch because of the vibration. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and not only that, but just the fact that you got... It's just amazing how little uh, we knew about the, the side effects oh, yeah. of not having a you know a cold joint and a hot you know it was just uh it was amazing yep. i just i'm sorry i'm old i'm playing this game so i'm not really probably doing a good job of explaining myself no, 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 big no. words i was uh i was known in, in in my in my industry for being able to take very technical things and turn them into easy to understand stuff but I sometimes don't Makes speak sense. in the technical terms but, yeah. uh, so. And it's been a while since I've done it. I've been out of it for a couple of days. I think I got out well, in 99. Oh, okay. So but I still follow tech. Yeah, I yeah, still yeah. follow technology quite a bit. I the stuff that's really so. got me. Stuff that's really got me excited is blockchaining. That is some cool technology. Yeah. Are you for, are you familiar with that? A little bit. I haven't dived into it, but you have all the stuff for the cryptocurrency and the fact that you can uh, follow the. Uh, uh, oh, it's it basically makes it so that you you basically got accountability all the way down the line. Yeah, there's no fraud. That's what's yeah. making it. Oh, I mean, you're. I mean, uh, the term may be technically, but yeah, I mean, it is so such cool. I'm just blown away, yeah. and then. Are you? Have you seen the information about them restarting? How do you remember core memory? I bet you do. Oh, of course I do. <laughs> okay. In fact, well, get. They're bringing it back. Are you aware of that? I'm not surprised. I mean, because there are definitely well, gonna be uh, using... benefits of core memory, especially for uh, dealing with because it's so large. You're not as susceptible to um, uh, radiation effects and so forth. Well, it's they're uh, they're bringing it back because of the major regions because of blockchaining. Because oh, the problem they're having with blockchaining, well, the problem with blockchaining is if you drop a computer in the middle of the process, you got to start over. Right. Right. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. What they're doing. So they're saying that, and so what they're doing, which is really cool, is they're basically bringing core memory back, but they're doing it at a level that's mind blowing. Uh, they're going to actually be stacking this stuff. You can imagine how small we yep. are now. They're going to well, make well, they're this stuff. So, yeah, it's probably using the, the small micro uh, machining capabilities to create a core. Absolutely. Well, you know, the uh, the Navita uh, graphics cards, one of the best graphics cards yeah. in the world. Okay, yeah, well, it's, that it's card... Actually, it, 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 and just so you know, it's actually pronounced NVIDIA. They actually, uh, right, it's, NVIDIA, it's called, exactly. How yeah. did you know that? You must be a professional. Well, I, I, Anyways, well, well, oh, well I work with guys there. <laughs> okay, well, they, I, that is the card. That's what. That's the card they're doing to do in, uh, crypto with. Okay. Right, right. To they get have the, the cryptocurrencies. That's what they're using. That card has gone from being just a little old bitty graphics card because of its speed. So, with yeah. that in mind, we take that in mind, and then we add. Um, now they need to be able to go through the process of blockchaining, and if you have a failure of anything in the in the process, they have to start it completely over. And that's why they're coming out with this core memory, so that you can shut this thing off. If you have a power failure, just bring it back up, fire it up, everything's back to running. We go through the whole pro the process is not is not hampered in any way. Got it. And we're talking about stacking this stuff. Uh, these these chips are talking about they're going to be doing are just mind blowing. Yep. Well, they've been blowing my mind actually for the last fifteen years. I mean, once, once we got underneath sub, you know, you know under uh, you know hundred nanometers, man, it's like you got to be kidding me. That's yeah. I used to work on those multi-layer boards when they first made okay. those. You know, the fastest the fastest computer modules in the world were made 
with the wire in the board, six layer yep. boards. You remember all that crap? Well, do you remember the wired? Do you remember the hand wired back planes using the little? Oh hell yeah! Uh, I used to work on that stuff, man. I had to actually fix that crap. Yeah. So I actually did so, that so for fun. a living. So, so let me tell you a funny story. Okay, so I went to school at Northeastern, and Northeastern University has a co-op school, so you have to go basically out to work as part of your school program. It's a five-year engineering program. And uh, at the end of your freshman year, they divide you into two halves. A, ha a division goes to work right away, B division goes to school, and basically you get no summer vacations. You're always either working or, or in school. And that's right. why they basically gives you effectively two years of work experience while you're getting a college degree. Um, sure. So my first co-op, my, my first co-op, uh, I'm out there, and they want me to prototype up a board for them, right? So if they've learned how to read the schematic, and I'm and I'm, and I'm, I'm going to wire wrap this board. And uh, obviously, right, you've got you've got a bunch of areas where you've got multiple connections. But yep. nobody taught me how to properly wire wrap, and so. The first thing I do is I do the stupid daisy chain, where it's like, you know, yeah, yeah, okay, you know exactly what that problem was, right? <laughs> the, other, the, the, other, the other thing they did not tell me is that when you count around the dot or, or count around the device, right, that it, that, it, that it rolls around the bottom. I just thought you went, you know, one through se uh, seven on, uh, one through eight on the one side, and then you start up at the top again and go uh, nine through 16. Right. right. So here I have this whole board. Everything's completely daisy chained, and half the board and half the half the pins are completely miswired backwards. Right. And, uh, <laughs> so the guy who's supposed to be teaching me this stuff realizes that he's screwed up, and I you was know, like, "Oh, I can't just give him a schematic. I I got to kind of explain a little bit to these guys." Just a tad. So, yeah. Nothing. It is a uh, tad funny. So, so I got, that's I got hilarious. Really good so I got real good at spinning, uh, hand spinning the uh, the thing that dewires everything, right? And of course, because everything's uh -huh. daisy chain, right? It's like almost every single wire had to come off the board and then rewire yeah. it back up. But I got really wow. good at wire wrapping that way. <laughs> That's good, man. Because a lot of people. Just, I mean, I, I mean, I had to teach my guys how to punch. Not only to to actually, you know, how you do to punch a phone connection. That's pretty straightforward stuff. No, it's not. Yeah. Well, ah, come on. It looks like it. Really? Right? It looks like it. But it's a, but there's a, a knack to it. Yep. Yeah. There's always it's always something. <laughs> yes, I I got to do all that stuff, man. I, that's uh. I, uh oh man, it's just memory, memory, memory. I I'm sitting here thinking to myself, self, I'm amazed. You know that. You and I are. Uh, from the same era per se and we have got to see things i can remember standing in in in, in a computer room at nasa and they're saying someday someday we're going to have you're going to open up the cabinet you're going to be able to look at the cabinet and see that uh there would be a red light and a green light on all the boards because they'll be on they'll be on board diagnostics yeah, well, I got to watch yeah, right. that come to fruition, you know. I did. I got to watch yep. it come to fruition. I mean, that's amazing. I agree. You know, to actually have the opportunity to grow up. And I'm a, by the way, I'm a non-educated, I'm, I'm not a college student. No, I did, well, did all this know, stuff. I'll, I did all this stuff yeah, without college. Well, yeah. So, so I worked with a lot of guys who came out of the Navy and, and out of the yep, Air Force. That's me. That, that, you know, Sparkies that have been doing this stuff and I handled them. <laughs> they were just as good. In fact, I, there was one guy I knew. Um, he unfortunately passed away of uh, Hodgkin's, but uh, um, he was super sharp. I mean, and he never had a college degree, but man, we made sure he stayed on. <laughs> you know, the, and, Practical and, and, experience and the back then just wasn't heard of. Well, well, because everybody was talking about you had to have a college education, right? Well, no, the HR people were saying that, but all the engineers, right. you know, we were going, no, 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 no. This guy knows what he's talking about. <laughs> he actually knows how to do it, too. <laughs> right, right, right. He knows what he's talking about. He's got the experience. That's far more worthy than, than somebody who has a, you know, a BS degree. I mean, I mean, for for... 
or if you're really doing some of the really hard theoretical stuff, okay, yeah, I mean, you need to have that background. But, you know, a lot of stuff in electronics is not that way. A lot of that stuff is, you know, almost having a feel for it. And, um, yes. You know, um, that's where I think uh, I learned my, my ability to solve. I became a really good problem solver. Yep. I mean, that's what I, if I had to describe what I did and I did well, that's what I did. I uh, believe it. That was a, a critical capability. It was a great time. It was a great time. I had a guy. I was hired. I was uh, in the. I was. What was it? Uh, was applying for a higher level support engineer position at my company. Okay. And I was sitting in the lobby outside the district manager's office and he had just been hired a few months earlier and I don't think he knew who I was I don't care that he didn't know anything about me but what was really funny is um, I'm sitting next to this 20 year old college student mm -hmm. and uh, he's gonna hire for this he's gonna try to hire for this position with no practical experience right so I interview he interviews he calls me Joe calls me back in and he says, hey, um, I'm not going to hire you. He says, I said, why? He says, because you don't have a college degree. And I said, excuse me? I said, I've got, uh, I don't know, 11, 12 years experience. I've been with this company since its inception. It was Digital Equipment Corporation, by the way. Oh, DEC? Yeah. yeah. I, worked, I worked for DEC for okay. oof, 18 years, I think it was, where they went out of business. Yep, yep, yep. But it's so they, they, the, uh, they yeah, they just didn't pay attention. I mean, they tried to use the PCs, but the Rainbow, I mean, the Rainbow was a really good machine, but their salespeople were so focused on selling the big iron that they wouldn't, that they, that they really let they, it get past them. The real issue, the real issue we had is that uh, Olson would not allow us to advertise. That's oh, what killed that. Yeah. yeah. Dex, Dex mini computers, uh, the Vax was probably yep. one of the one of the most powerful mini computers ever made, and everybody but, in the scientific that's all we ran at NASA was were Vaxes. Uh, was were Vaxes, and same with the yep. uh, uh, most of the chemical plants, uh, Exxon, yep. Dow, well, uh, everybody well, ran those things. I mean, I mean, they they, oh. they they got their their introduction right with um, uh, PDP-8. I mean, I, that's what I that's what I programmed. Oh my gosh, PDP-8! <laughs> I was one of the few guys in the company that worked on a PDP-8. <laughs> that's how long I've been around. Yep. So I, yeah, so, so in high school I was programming PDP-8. Uh, oh wow! Uh, so you and I have very similar uh, age. Are you in your sixties? Just hit sixty. Just hit sixty. Okay, I got you by yep. a couple of days. Well, uh, I, I I hit sixty in uh, early October. So. Okay. So, yeah. I, I let me put it this way, right? I'm sixty by number wise, but I don't feel sixty whatsoever. You know? Oh, I don't either. Uh, uh, people that know me want to know when I'm going to grow up. <laughs> Yeah, my wife keeps that too. Yeah, I think it has to do with my what I did for a living. Yep, but yeah, yeah I've got you by five. I think I'm 65 now. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and I'm on my owning my third company. <laughs> oh, what, what company do you own now, or what do you run? Well, I own a promotional products company. Oh, okay. Um, I, uh, so that's, that's right. You're, you're out of the tech field, is what it sounds like. Or yeah. Like well, I, I was actually, I actually had an opportunity. I tried to convince my wife into doing this, but she wouldn't let me. I had an opportunity to move to go to work for a small company called Compact Computer. Oh, back when they were small, back in, <laughs> back when they were beginning to really blow up. Yeah. Anyways, no, no, no. One, one of the guys <laughs> I used to work for. 
Makes sense that you could have gotten another 10 foot, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, look, one of the guys that, that I used to work for at DEC calls me mm -hmm. up and said, hey, these guys are looking for somebody to come in and take over the networks out of their business. I was a network consultant for my last 10 years. I was involved in, I started off uh, installing wire. Oh, really? Okay. Actually yep, yep, designing, yep, yep. designing, I mean, pulling Ethernet cable, putting the taps on the cable, the transducers, the transceivers, running the cable from... You can remember that big old thick cable and the, the big D connectors yeah, they had yeah, on them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, 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 well I did all of that. Oh, oh, so, so you're talking about the black cable? You're talking about going back to the yellow where you had to actually. Eight oh two three. Yep. Eight oh two three. No that, that that was the what well, was orange or yeah it was could be orange or yellow it yeah, didn't yeah. matter, but yep, it was a big yep, old yep. thick coax five hundred meters yep. maximum length da 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 da. da. Yeah, yeah, 51.2 yeah, yeah. microsecond the, 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 propagation of the CMS ACD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that technical crap. Right. So the one so, where you had to use uh, a network analyzer to find the uh, find where the needle was that the it, that the guy was who, who got fired stuck in the cable before he walked out the door. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I actually trained two companies on how to install uh, Ethernet, and at that time it would have been the uh, Cat3 stuff. Um, also taught them how to install uh, data over analog lines. So anyways, two of those companies got the Entrepreneur of the Year here in the Houston area. Because you know, I I taught a I taught a four-hour class to all my clients on how to maintain their networks because they were going to probably want to expand them, so they learned how to do that. I gave them a, a class on how to design it, because it's that simple. In my opinion, it was that yep. easy. You just had to pay attention to the length of all the cable that you were using. If you did that, you couldn't get yourself in trouble. But anyhow, where was I going with this story? I forgot. Um, I'm really good at getting people off on the tangent, so... <laughs> well, no, I just, well, well, because I had worked in the industry for so long, and I had contacts in the industry, I went from being an installer all the way to a consultant on both the software and the hardware side of the business. Okay. So I knew both sides. So this guy said, you know, I want you to go out and talk to compacts looking for somebody to take over their, help, help them with their networking business, and I'd like you to come out and help them with it. You know, I said, sure, I'll go interview with them. I was working for UTMB at the time. I was just sitting around doing nothing and uh, and had just left UTMB to go to work for myself. I'd bought a vending company. So I'm trying to convince my wife to let me go do this. They want their six-figure salary, car, stock options, yada, yada, yada. I'm going, what yeah, a deal. Let me in. <laughs> yeah. So I, uh, I, I uh, try to convince her let me do that oh I didn't make the jump oh oh yeah I did so um, she said no well anyways I had already gone on the interview and what was really funny about this interview was guess what the same thing that happened to me on that that interview with that guy for that higher level support oh. job I didn't have a degree yep. well this lady didn't know that I was told to come in and talk to him I solved five technical issues while I was there. Uh, when I was going through the technical side of my interview, right. I had fixed se several problems, and she said, "Well, you know, we can't we can't hire you because you don't have a degree." I said, "Okay." Just out of curiosity, what would you pay me? She said, "What start you twenty five thousand dollars a year?" <sighs> wow! I couldn't believe it. Wow! You I don't. Can't. I think that I. I think, well, that guy that, that told me he wouldn't hire me, no matter how much experience I had because I didn't have a degree, I told him he wouldn't be working for this company more than three months. He was gone within three months after denying me the opportunity. <laughs> His business decisions were pretty bad. <laughs> that makes like any that. sense. So, yeah, I told him, he, I told him, yeah. I said, you're not going to be here longer than three months. He said, oh, shut up, you know. So you don't know what you're talking about, so... 
I know that you can't make you can't make the kind of decisions we need around here. He didn't like that answer either. No. Well, but uh, that's the way it was back then. Right? It was obviously it was obviously true. So. We're at your oh no! It, the is stuck inside you, man, you, you've been around a day and a half. You know. Find the power source so we can get people. Oh yeah. Oh yes. By locating the original. Uh, anyhow, you yeah, managed to it. keep me. Yeah, we and both have. Know. I can guide you there. But I tell you what, okay, so I still love technology. And shut it down. Easy. So do I. Uh, well, I mean, people keep asking, you know, how long do I expect to work? You know, they always seem to be shocked and say, well, at least 65, 67, maybe 70. You know, it's just, yeah. I enjoy it. You know, it's not, it's not like it's, I mean, there, every job has its days, you know? Yeah, <laughs> we all, yeah. Well, today, in today's times, nobody's required, you know, we nobody, there is no such thing as loyalty, so, you, you know, unless, unless oh, yeah. it sounds like where you work at, it sounds like a deal, you know. Well, well yes, yeah. so where I work at is, um, well, you probably know, uh, is, um, is a Linear Technology Corp, and uh, okay. so we got bought up, we got bought up by analog devices. And, uh, but Linear Technology, there was actually a book in Japan written about us, Called the company that nobody ever leaves, and uh, literally, <laughs> our seriously, our the average oh, age no. of the people in our company is uh, in the uh, low 40s. Uh huh. Right, and that's and that's who's bringing in new people and so forth because they value they they uh, I don't know about analog devices, but linear technology. We value people's experience. You know, we have Absolutely. a bunch of people who came in working in from uh uh. Uh, working on, uh, you know, like I said, Sparkies and so forth, because we we need people who know how to get the job done, not just who know how to draw it up on a whiteboard. You know, we're not, as they would say, right? We're not shipping data sheets; we're shipping parts. Right. And that was essentially the bottom line. You know, and if you couldn't hack it, well, there was other companies who'd be willing to hire you. I mean, yeah. The saying, the saying, the saying here is that hey, you know, um, Facebook is always hiring. So we have yeah. our workplace. <laughs> when people get taken to hire work in our place, it's always, oh, there's another warehouse just up the street. They'll hire you. Go for it. Don't yeah. like it here. Just go find something yeah. somewhere else. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Warning. Thanks, threat detected. They are blocking your path to the Cade Unit's teleport. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's very it's very hard to find people like yourself to talk to that, that I can share some of that good old fashioned crazy stuff that we used to do. I mean, everything was modular level repair back. I mean, component level repair. You know, you had to use you had to know how to use an oscilloscope. Yep. You know, it, it was it, you carried it around in your car. You know. Yep. Exactly. Well, actually, and now now this will probably make you. This would probably make you laugh. So, uh, we actually used to work uh, uh, when I, I used to work for LTX, which would mean automatic test equipment, and uh, we were actually using the Data General Nova three. And we, however, this was back in the days uh, when, uh, like, the one twenty eight K memory, sixty four K and one twenty eight K memories were just coming out. You know, they're using, you know, we're starting to use page memory systems, and so we didn't want. Data general memory in our computers because yeah, there's a lot of people that want that stuff. <laughs> well, we we you know we could buy it cheaper on the open market, you know, third party, you know, for get a 128k for the cost of they're selling 64k for, or not even 64, but 32. Right. And uh, but they refused to sell a computer without memory. So what we always did, yes. we just always bought it. We we bought it with 4k boards, 4k core boards. I have to remember and we that. Would just, and we would stack, you know, we would have stacks of core, of memory core memory boards. And some of the guys from the uh, field service guys came down and said, hey, what are we doing with these core memory boards? They're just sitting here in a stack. And I said, well, they're just going to sit there in a stack. And they said, well, hey, we could use them. And so what we started to do for them is that uh, we would load up the cores with all the diagnostic programs. And then that way they would just boot straight into the core and, and run it from there. And that way it, it was 
rather than taking out diagnostic tapes and having to load up the uh, OS and if the tape player, tape drive was having a problem, you know, they would struggle with that. They could just boot straight up. So they'd actually have in their trunk, you know, eight to 10 uh, core boards, all with uh, different diagnostic programs or sets of diagnostics programs, you know. The scoreboard we would use for running diagnostics on the hard drive. This one for the tape drive. This one for the CPU and all of the... Uh, the, uh, yeah, I remember you know, all memory that functions stuff. and stuff like that. You know, yep. and of course, right? Just oh, I'm and I'm sure. By the way, you're really good at key flipping, right? I'm sorry. You know, the key flipping, the uh, t key toggling oh, on the yes. button and then hitting program. Oh yeah, the console. Program load. That program load. Okay, boot from this memory. Uh, yeah, no, boot. I believe some we guys. To... <clears throat> Go ahead. Oh, I, I, I say yeah, yeah. It, it was just that you know. Most people don't realize that we used to have to, to uh, load in our own bootstraps. <laughs> Tackle, Tackle programs. Yep. 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 I did all that. In fact, uh, I went I went to work for a small telephone company called Danray. They were bought by a company called Northern Telecom, and okay, I was brought yeah. in to work on phone switches. I didn't know nothing about phone switches, but I did know how to key in a program on a on a machine. They were having a problem with something, and I said, okay, well, here, let me take a look at that. I got the book out, looked up a couple of things, toggled in a, a program that would it, you know, they said, well, we think it's the keyboard's bad. I said, okay, well, let's test it. <laughs> yeah. It's not the keyboard. <laughs> and they all looked at me like, where the hell did you learn to do that? <laughs> that was like a part of being able to even work in the industry to know that shit. You didn't yep. know that, you didn't get a job. Hey, yeah. My new friends, Failsafe and her evil that was fun. Failsafe. That was a good old day. I got, I got, uh, I got. I had been waiting to hire on with a deck, and uh, well, deck was a good company back then. I mean, oh my gosh, they were. Well, they were IBM's biggest problem. Uh, yeah, they were. Oh my God. I don't well, know, we, we had. A, I was going to say a bunch of the the deck sales guys in there. They they uh, they had another acronym for uh, what IBM stood for. It was <laughs> to them. It, IBM did not stand for um, International Business Machine. It stood for I've been manipulated. Yeah. yeah. Right, because nobody could get fired for buying IBM. Yes, even though it didn't work. Exactly. That's the part that amazed me. I mean, that token ring technology. What a joke. And there were so many companies that bought into that stuff. Yeah, well, I actually had to, uh, I, had to I had to work on it. Well, yeah, because uh, uh, Apollo had it. Yes, it was Apollo. required. Yeah. Yep. Yes, using the Aegis operating system. Uh, yes, they they couldn't. Uh, the reason the reason that they couldn't use Ethernet, uh, I mean, uh, well, DECnet was at that time a similar fo form of it. But right. uh, the reason was is they, that NASA could tell when the data was going to arrive, how it was going to arrive, when it was going to arrive, how big it was going to be, and that's how co Token Ring was so good. The only problem with Token ah. Ring was is if you had a failure, it yep. shut the whole damn thing down. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I remember, man, I, I had to fight that battle. You have no idea when Ethernet came out and trying to explain to them that this stuff was ten times better than token ring was almost impossible because people had gotten so used to being able to identify exactly when that packet mm. was going to arrive. Oh, yep. Hey, you probably want to yeah. hustle. I think they just said something about ripping my beautiful horn off my face. Wow. Well, yeah, well, and I went through a lot of history together. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even know each other. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, sometime if you ever... Uh, Come out here in the Bay Area. We've got a great, a fantastic computer history museum. Where uh, they've got a lot of those old, those old things going over, those parts and so forth. What scared me though is seeing a probe card that uh, looks similar to one I'd worked on before. But wait a minute, this should not be in this museum. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't about, like the implications. Think about what we've got to do. <laughs> yeah, just think about what we've got to do. Golly. Yeah. I sit down and think about that every once in a while. Somebody will say something to me, and I'll start talking about it. And how do you know that? Uh, I did it. <laughs> I lived it. I breathed it. 
And because uh, back then you had to know it, you just couldn't guess about it. You had to know it. Yep. So fun. It was so fun. So fun. So fun. Golly. <laughs> So Ace, I'm sorry I to missed. take you through this 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 this, this long ro winding road here. Oh good. Oh. Okay. Oh, he killed himself. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even get to play Ace. Sorry about that. Oh, good. I mean, I'm still, I'm still not up. I'm still supposed to be off already. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> I, I, get, I was just waiting to see how long you were going to be going for past your. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to head to bed now. I don't now. get to talk about this very often. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a history lesson right there. I love this stuff. I always have. So. Well, it's something you've done for so long and you've pulled so much time into, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, I was going to... That was... Uh, because of my background in technology and all the stuff that I had done, I was pretty well sought after individual for a number of years. And that was the part that was amazing to me. I was out for 10 years and I was called by headhunters and said, I was told to find you. Because, you know, when it comes to data communications, it, no, nothing's changed. The delivery method may have right. changed, but, uh, you know, yeah, there are the, certain the physical, aspects. The, yeah, the physical way has changed, but that's it. Yeah. I mean, because uh, when I start to tell people, you know, people used to say, say to me, oh my gosh, you're... You're an expert. I said, no, I'm just knowledgeable and some of the stuff that's going on. Yep. And I, I mean, I spent a lot of time in data communications. I learned a lot. I mean, I learned to work, how to work on phone switches. <laughs> you know, that was fun. Yeah. Especially if you ever had to deal with the, the mercury wetted one, having to bang them and all that. Say again, the what? If you ever had to work with mercury wetted switches as well. I mean, I, I, I know the phone switches and it's different, but a lot of times we have the, the different relays in there. And, yes. Uh, and, yes. And the... Yes. I was actually, I was actually in the closet that went click, 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 click. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> I got, I can't, I can, golly, I, and that was the first time I did that, I was at NASA. I ran into one of those, uh, but we were working on uh, one of the projects that I was, when I was working for, uh, I can't remember who it was, Johnson. I can't remember, but there was a project they were working on, um, I can't remember what building it was in, here in Houston, but, um, the whole floor was dedicated to communications, and they were all small cars. They were probably, I don't know, six by two, six by three inch cars. Oh, wow, okay, yep, yep. And uh, it was... All, all, all for one new factor, right? Uh, one new... Yes. Yeah, and so they said, well, we're going to rebuild this thing. We're just going to use today's technology. So they want, they just said, well, you know, we'll pull out a bay of cards. We'll put in new components. We'll put them back in. Well, today's components weren't as good as yesterday's components. <laughs> the resistors weren't as good. Huh? I said, that, yeah, I said, sometimes that's exactly right. I mean, I mean you stretch the capacitors, right? Because you know, the problem with the K7s, yes. right? They, they yeah, change over, yeah, yeah. the values change over temperature. So, so right, I mean, it was just amazing, the stuff that I got to be involved in. That was one of them where, you know, a 5% resistor wasn't a 5% resistor, you know, from back then to today. <laughs> You know, the tolerances were so different, and they couldn't meet the tolerances of those little bitty cards. It was just mind-blowing. They ended up replacing the whole system, but it still was just amazing because everything was still done on a shoestring. 
Right, right, right. Tell me no, I got. I gotta ask this question, but I'm gonna warn Ace. This might end up sounding a bit politically incorrect. But which, which, which color code system did you use when you first had to learn how the resistor values and remember the resistor values? Oh, I can't remember. Black. It was red, black, something. I can't remember. Yeah. I remember because, silver was one tolerance, oh, yeah. gold was another. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Gold was one percent. Uh, silver was five percent. But no, 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 no. There you go. So, so, so when I first sometimes right, the worst mnemonics are the ones that stick in your head. Yeah. But, um, but the but the one I originally learned it from in, in college was um, you know for black brown uh, red was a. Uh, uh, black boys rape our young girls, but Violet gives willingly. Willingly, so yes. That's like, I remember yes. that. So you could go, yes. so you could go zero, zero, one, red, black boys, yeah, red was a uh, rape, uh, uh, orange, green. <laughs> and yes, like, like I remember that. Mnemonic, I remember right? that saying right. as if it right, were right. yesterday. Yeah, but, right. Violet, just... but Violet gives willingly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll have to remind and, and, me to tell you a really funny uh, black joke because it's hilarious. Sometimes well, yeah, I have well, to tell I you mean, guys that one. Well, yeah, because because I'm not trying to be racist at all, but I mean, but that was the no. mnemonic that went around everywhere. And it's the only way yes. that we could remember how to do it. The resistors like, were. Those that when I first heard it, I I, I was uh, uh, how should I say it? Um, I was somewhat uh, offended. I, I was offended by it. It's like, you've got to yeah. be kidding. We can't be doing this. And then as the test came, right, and you're trying to do the <laughs> test and we're trying to design the stuff, it's like, hey, this is the only way I'm remembering this. This is terrible, but I can remember it. Yeah. I don't want to use this. <laughs> but finally, it just got to the right. point of just saying, okay, you know, some things are just, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like humor, right? Sometimes it's just really bad. But it's still really funny, and that was the same way that mnemonic is like. And and, and the funny don't... thing is, is that everybody I've talked to in the engineer in, in who's done electronics, they they had that they knew they had heard that mnemonic at some point and yes. had used it. Yeah. Well, when I worked at when I started in the, the the Navy, ended up actually teaching a transfer class. I was chosen to fail my test, uh, but we did you know we did. I did my first, my, this was back in 70, what was I in, 71, 72, mm -hmm. I went in in 72, in 72 I built my very, I did my very first miniature computer, we had to build a small one using AND gates, OR gates, da 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 da, we had right. to wire yep, it, yep. it had to count, it had to count up, count down, da 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 da, right, 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 and, and uh, then, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And we had transmitters, receivers. Anyway, it was really wild. Uh, it, on top of that, because of the Vietnam War, we were in what, what they would call, they called an advanced class. There were 30 of us in the class. Um, instead of it being, I want to say it was supposed to be 12 weeks long, it was six weeks long. And um, I actually finished third in my class even though I was chosen the day of the class they went through the room and said you're gonna fail you're gonna fail you're gonna fail you're gonna fail they didn't know I had been teaching a transmitter class to the rest of the class so or helping them understand how transmitters work but uh, and I took that test in in uh, half the time I think I did it in an hour they gave us two hours to take it I took it in an hour and uh, yeah that was because uh, they scared the shit out of you in the Navy. They said, you know, if you fail your test, they own you. You're going to be a cook. Oh. You're going to be a snipe. You're going to be a, you know, a boiler mate. You're going to be a boatsman. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, hey, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and pass out now. Stuart? And what's your name again? <laughs> I didn't get your name. Stuart? Oh, Mad Geek? Oh, Mike. Hold on. Let me get your gamer tag before I go away. You're, yeah, are you Matt actually going to bed this time? Ah. Well, I, I wasn't. Uh, do you, are you near Ace? By any chance? Just slap him upside the head. <laughs> no, no, no. No, yeah. no um, I'll probably end up staying up for just a few more minutes simply because. Um, 
I'm all wound up. <laughs> my my <laughs> mind is my mind is flying right now. All this stuff we've been talking about—it's been so much. Just means so much to me. Stuff does, because I have a lot of history with it. Yep, oh, that, I that, 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 that was a part of history. I well, got I'll tell to, you what. One of the things that is that is kind of like I'm most proud of, uh, although it's one of the things I can't believe. So when I was working at LCX, when I when I came, I was in uh, I was in college when I did this. They uh, it was a brand new company. They they had um, they were writing their own operating system. Basically, we had a a, a our, our, uh, we were basically writing a, a basic because most people have been writing test programs back then in assembler. And we basically mm -hmm. put together the first basic, uh, uh, interpreted basic program uh, language. And so, because they're a new company, when they first put it together, they threw together, effectively, the routine that converted from uh, integer and floating point to ASCII. And so... Golly. And, uh, I haven't heard so those they terms need, so long. So they needed somebody <laughs> to uh, write the code and basically, I, I basically created the. Uh, they had a, a very simple print using statement that was, you know, the uh, you know, the the numbers before the decimal point, how many how many points after the decimal point. And instead, I put in a print using statement that could convert not only uh, integers numbers and uh, floating point numbers into ASCII, but also could put do it in octal BCD. Um, by the way, BCD. <laughs> yeah, long before that. that's how far back I go. Um, BCD hex and uh, as well as in, and, and I put in uh, engineering notation. That was a huge fan of the HP uh, calculators back then. And engineering mm -hmm. notation to me is like what I mean. That, to me, that should be almost standard. You know, it should be standardly taught because now now you really understand units if you have engineering notation. So, anyways, I wrote all of this code together, put it together in one semester and uh, all in the uh, Nova 3 assembler uh, <laughs> and then they came back and said that my next co-op since they came back for for another semester they said hey you did such a great job on this we need you to take it down and put it into a 1k page so you have to, you have to basically rewrite it and make yeah. it tighter right and so make I did fit this I did. size yeah I fit, fit it into this size so I, I actually got it down to uh, uh, 956 bytes. So I was wow. really pretty proud of that. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. And uh, so, anyways, because they're basically throwing into the 1K overlay is what they were doing. Um, so, anyways, long story short, they are still the testers that this this was done in. Uh, I wrote this code in 1978. It is still in production today on testers. I mean. The old Nova 3s have all died, and they've been replaced by uh, basically FPGA chips that completely emulate, properly emulate the, uh, uh, or basically do the hardware emulation of a Nova 3 processor, and it's basically put onto a, a coprocessor board on a PC. And so they're still running these these large um, testers, um, running my code. So I can't believe it, but you know, over 40 years now, my code has been running in production. Yeah, and and the other thing that was is the fact that um, when I went back ten years later, I found out that they still there was only one ECN that was placed against my code, and that was because I didn't document in the comments how to call it as a subroutine. And so one of my buddies had to go back in. He just got tired of figuring it out several you know, multiple times, and so that was the only ECN was that to put in comments that said, "Here's how you call this routine." So, 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 cool. so to me, that's, a, that's the one thing that I'm most, most proud of, is uh, uh, was that. That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, it's... My, my, the, mean, one thing that, the, the one thing that I have, my, my 15 minutes of fame was, <coughs> I fixed the, uh, the Skylab computer right in the middle of a, uh, I don't know if anybody remembers this, but they were in the process of trying to move the Skylab into a higher orbit by using the gyros, and they had some 
problem right. with the thrusters, they were going to try to use the thrusters to put it into a higher orbit so they could save it. During right, that right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep, keep it up there longer, right? It's really, they're just yeah, really they trying, were trying to, to keep. They were trying to keep it up there because they were losing it, and all they had was some thrusters and stuff like that to move it. Well, that the during that mission, the Skylab computer went down. Oh man! And I was, uh, and, and, I was, and I was at a bar with my boss. We had just completed our scuba diving class, and both had just received our certificates. And I was on my second Jack Daniels when they heard I heard wow. a guy's name being called. And he was supposed to be the guy that was on call for that computer. My boss says, get on the phone, call, and find out what's going on. I called over there. My sister was the operator on that computer at the time. Oh. She said, wow. the system's down. It's a memory problem. That's the first fucking words I've heard. <laughs> oh, yeah. so, I, so I tell Bob, I said, uh, the system's down. The Skylab computer. Get you, she says, get your ass over there. I ran every stoplight on the way there. I literally ran the gate. And I said, I stuck my hand out the window and I screamed at him as I rolled through the Skylab computers down. And uh, I got it back up in about 15 minutes, I think it was. Pretty fast. That, but when I wow. got there, the flight director was there. There were three en NASA engineers had prints out. And were rolling. I said, what are you guys doing? We're trying to figure out what's wrong with this thing. Have you run a diagnostic? No. Well, how, what, what, why, 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 why are you going through pages of print? You know, why are you looking at schematics if you don't even know what the hell's wrong? My yeah, you don't know where to look. Me, it's, yeah, my sister's screaming at me. It's a, it's a memory problem. And I went, holy freaking shit! I said, okay, I'm going to make this real simple for everybody. I'm going to count to three, and everybody leaves the room. The flight director starts lipping me. One, because if you don't leave hey, the room, welcome to the stream, I'm man. leaving. And I'm the only guy in here that can fix this thing. Two. Wow. Three. I was, um, they up my, split. Um, I had to think back up. It was in five yeah, minutes. Uh, um, I found that almost, it wasn't a memory problem. It turned out to be a heat didn't hear a little bit of uh, past the, uh, computer The main history. board, it was one of two modules. In the, in, it was a PDP-1170. Okay. And uh, and uh, there were one or two modules it could be, but when I got it up, you don't let it come back down. You know, so we waited okay. until the next rotation of the Earth so that we could communicate with it. During right. that period, I brought it back down, identified the problem, brought it back up, and I had to spend the I I literally spent the night there until somebody got in the next day. Yeah, just in so. case something. So yeah, no, no, I had to, well, you know, a lot of people think, well, if you leave the doors open, it's going to be cooler. No, it's hot. No. <laughs> yeah, so, you, don't have the proper, you don't have the proper ventilation. That, that's why I said it was a heat problem, because yeah. I knew as soon as I closed it up and buttoned her up, she'd go down. Open the door, right. leave her open, she's fine. I'm going to get off now. You <laughs> just stung me for another t 10, 20 minutes. So. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, but that's one of my claim to fame. I mean, there's a really wow. long story behind it, but it's, uh, yeah, that, that was, that's how I ended up being certified. I was, I hadn't even been there. NASA had me in a room. Do you remember those little um, cassette type players that they used to give us to, to learn off of? Yep. It's a little bitty, little bitty box, and you shoved a cassette in the side of it, and you sat in this room, and you had a notebook, and you got trained by this thing. Well, that's how I learned hexadecimal, octal, the binary system, the whole right, nine right. yards. That's where I was taught. When I walked out of that room, this, there was a, a line of bucode tape drives. They gave me a PDP-1120. They said, you got to fix this to go fix that. So I had to fix a wow. PDP-1120, which I'd never seen before. Fix that. Then I went and I started, I fixed these 10 Bucode tape drives. Never worked on a tape drive, a vacuum tape drive. And those are the size of a refrigerator. If you remember those, yep. those were the yep. ones that had the vacuum columns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The data generals were, were the same way. Right. I mean, it, yeah, yeah. They had the, 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 and, and, and the weird thing was, those are the ones that had the serious capacitors, and you know where where the data went through, right? They're etched, 
they were edge triggered. They weren't level triggered. Right. And, and uh, aligning those things was was just a massive. Uh, I had oh. to teach myself that too. See, the way that it worked out is I had a mentor. His name was Ron Rich. And yeah, so yeah, and every time I'd go up and ask him a question, he'd say it's in the book. That's helpful. That was his. <laughs> that was his. That was his answer. Well, when I finally learned how to ask the question okay. correctly, he graduated me. Hey, man, I know the answer's in the book, but you sure could save me some time if you could answer this one simple question for me. That's what uh, got me out of the. That's guy got, got me out of it. But that guy shocked me. He set me on fire. Uh, you wouldn't believe what that guy did oh, no, to me. No, 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 I mean, it was hilarious. Oh, the things that they used to do to people when we were there. Oh yeah. Everything oh, was oh, everything oh. was cleaned with alcohol. And yep. uh, you know, God'd be sitting there working on a God walk by. Everybody smoked back then. Just take yep. throw a match on that thing. The guy's got blue flames. Doesn't even know he's burning. This hilarious. I mean, this shit happened all yeah. the time. Well, well, I, I I remember people charging up caps, you know, to 100 volts and then tossing them to somebody. Oh, just you no. Know. We just used to leave them laying around. Just <laughs> yeah, see what see somebody would pick one of those things up. It's just a riot. <laughs> <laughs> light them up. Okay. You and I could tell stories for the rest of the night. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. I've heard that before. Take care. Well, that certainly sounded like a nice uh, callback for the two of you. Yeah. Nothing like going down memory lane.
No, I don't want to be on the back of No fucking shit.
doing that uh, where you kill the voice of Riven story mission on your own at power level 500 is still difficult. Oh. Focus real hard on that thing. I could believe it. Yeah. So when you're about six ten, it sounds like you're probably close to that. Yeah, I'm basically there. Um, then, yeah. Then I can start running we'll vault. Another... Can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's time to get another. Oh no, you can run vault now. No, uh, forge. Oh, well, I'm six oh nine. Yeah. So, oh, I mean, at 610, we can get a couple of other uh, high level people and teach you the vault, uh, teach you the forge. So you're, you're probably at the point where you want to go see Ada and start getting this stuff to uh, prepping so that you can. Uh, oh, I'm already have ready to frame so and it. so forth oh. that you need. Oh, okay. Let's see. What are they giving me? Oh, good. Another 650. Oh great, coming into the middle of one. We're in the machinist territory. I'm doing this one machinist daily quest. The machinist is the finale. Easy enough. She commands an arsenal of stolen tech. Awoken, fallen, cabal, anything she can get her hands on. This tank is city made. The machinist has good taste. I'll give her that. Everything's working except the two most important parts. 
turret and the nav module. But we are in the junkyard. I've ID'd some possible replacements nearby. days I can make it Turrets are online you get the nav module I'll cover you Oh no, don't you shoot me with that thing, oh, that's to the ghost. Nav module installed. Your chariot awaits. I've had uh, the ghost shoot me with that uh, tank.
Yes, I don't have to shoot any more Ravagers yes. by their exploding things. I finally killed 50 of them with it. Oh. So annoying me, I'll probably still automatically target it just because it is their point. Huge shipping containers of dark ether in here. Enough to raise a scorn army. I think I just got my first uh, uh, new exotic. Really? Yeah, I got the shard. Which one did you get? Ah. Been told that's the one if you like running the uh, thousand packs you're supposed to be running. Thousand yep. cuts in the crucible a lot, and sometimes in the PVPs in PVE. So, I'll have to see what the perk is on it if I use it enough. Basically, it depends. Yeah, it depends upon the number of skills that you get. You get some of your energy back, it basically. Is, uh, is that the right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's what I thought. I was understanding from it, not, but I wanted to read. Not it a again. full. No. Yeah, not a full amount, but it but you get a lot back. station for my tank and some other things.
machinist has been raiding Sysjovian space. Oh, nice heal station. What she doesn't supply to the other barons, she adds to her hoard. Oh. We're healing this one. All the way? Alright. Oh. Alright. I'll take it. Oh. source nearby. quarters and two thirds of the way done. Sounds good. Oh, they stop bringing me up the way, please. If you see you online playing for a bit of Destiny, if you're on sabbatical, oh, sorry, yeah, you know, I'll be on here from time to time. No doubt about it. Where is he?
Finally got my first ballistic log. Seven down, one to go. Then Aldrin. One in ground weight. It's almost one over. Grab. It's almost over. Guardian, I know where Aldrin is headed. It's time to end this. 613. That's almost higher than anything I can. That's good to hear. So did you celebrate uh, New Year's, or did you just go to bed early? Oh no, we stayed up. Yep. We went over to one of my daughter's houses, and uh, we watched a movie, and stayed up. Celebrated it for all three coasts. I mean, not coasts, but you know, for, all, three for all the time zones. Yep. Well, we had a bottle of champagne to get through, you know, so... Had a fun time. Drop, make, or extended. I am now 610. I am now. Congratulations.
I'm sure we can get you through. Well, it's basically what I think a week and a half of me playing, and I went from 560 to 610. From 550 to 610? Wow. Always good to see you, Guardian. Yeah, that'll work. Thanks for shopping Eververse, Guardian. Okay. Perhaps a barter is warranted. I can't remember which one's better, Kill Clip or Rampage. Do you remember, Matt? Well, okay, so it depends on which one to run it in. Kill Clip is uh, good for PvE, actually PvP, uh, because what happens is that when you are in PvP, um, you can't, people aren't necessarily clustered together, you have to run, and Rampage uh, Rampage is a better perk, technically, because you can stack it, but you gotta get three kills right away, and it doesn't last for more like that. It lasts for like 10 or 15, 10 or 12 seconds. Um, so, if you have to run across, you don't, you can't get other people. Kill Clip has a little bit less of a bump than Rampage, because you're not stacking it, but it lasts for, you know, you, it per, it procs after a kill, um, after you, uh, when you reload. Now, now, if you have Kill Clip and Ambitious Assassin, you want to hold on to reloading until, um, you're towards the end of your magazine, right? Because you're stacking extra, uh, bullets in with Ambitious Assassin. But otherwise, as soon as you, uh, as soon as after kill, you, uh, reload your weapon, you have Kill Clip. And then you want to keep using it until uh, it's up. Hold on, because after you reload it again, then you lose it. They're both nice What's that? Arms. I've got two nice sidearms. They have almost the same rule. It's just one's got kill okay. clip, the other is package. It'll probably be my side so one, ones. one is good for... One's good for PvP right, so and one, one, good one for is PvP. good for PvE and then one's for PvP. Today. Basically the way to look at it. Let's get to work. I bet you did. If you went up that far. Once again. For long years, the ruins were quiet, content to corner around the moon. Those days. Shores. All I've got to do is loot a hidden chest in the mine bender. Fade in. Uh, explore the dock. Explore the explore the vine. Two explorations. Two ex one event that I got to run for. Yep. Yeah.
The city is depending on its guardian now more than ever. And when the next threat enters the system, what better plan? My destinations one's not that really that far from the each new day is a lot of just wanted. A lot of just wanted ah. and bounties. You gotta do wanted and what news? We have much to discuss. Why can't those rookies in the crucible be more like you? I know you'll use this well. Victory smells nice, Guardian. But the Red Legion's not gone. I'm hungry for news, Guardian. Given time, darkness will encroach again. We have to be ready. Got another two bounties that are almost complete. That'll give me two more powerful engrams. <laughs> Wonder if I'll be pushing 620 by the end of the week. Oh, that's a great deal on Glimmer. He's selling it for etheric spiral. Man. Given time, darkness will encroach again. We have to be ready. News from the war front. Given time, darkness will encroach again. We have to be ready. The tower is never dull when you're around. Tell Hawthorne, I said, soon. She'll understand. The EDZ needs our help, Guardian. Get out there. That's it, Frank. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. 
Yep, I've had to do a bunch of uh, public events solo. 